Today I have another tip for you. So today our flowers are our blooms, our chrysanthemum blooms. The proper name for these are actually Anastasia. If you're going down through your Dutch web shop, if you look for chrysanthemums and then within that sometimes if you look for Anastasia, you'll find these. So when you're buying in the bloom system, more commonly know, there's 10 stems in a bunch. So this will be a typical bunch. The best thing to do is remove the plastic because again, they like the ethylene gas to be able to escape. So just use your scissors, just slide it up the plastic and that will remove them. And then that's what your 10 stems looks like. Remove the leaf, sorry, the elastic band at the bottom and you can also cut the ends. I would say at least a minimum of three, four centimeters off the end. Cut on a slant because you open up a bigger hole than if you cut straight across. Remove any foliage that will be under the water. So if your bucket is half filled, they'd normally say put about 20, 25 centimeters of water into a bucket because obviously everybody's buckets is a different um, height. So 20, 25 centimeters of water. Keep the water cold, so fresh, Cold water is much better. There's a higher percentage of oxygen in the water. So depending on how high your water is going to come up on your stem, remove any of the foliage at the bottom. Now, when, and obviously any damaged leaf. So at the top here, I'm not sure if you can see it, there's like a little cap or a little net, or sometimes I describe it like, it's like a little pair of tights is around each flower. And if you leave that little netting on it, it will hold the flower back and it'll stop it blooming and you'll get a lot longer. Now that's obviously in a flower shop. But when you're sending the flower out, rather than just pulling the net off because you'll de-head them or uh, behead them really, and you'll cause damage, just cut off the little net. Now this is not going to happen straight away because obviously they're not in water. I'll just give it a little bit of a blow. But eventually when these are in water, you normally remove the netting after they've had the drink. Then you'll find that your bloom or your Anastasia will open. There's lots of different colors. Um, the white one is one we use quite a lot here at the school. They're a great lasting flower. And like for people who don't like chrysanthemums, I always find these look a little bit more luxurious looking to your normal chrysanthemum. So I hope you enjoyed them tips there. And if you have any questions, email us here at the school, info at flowerschoolireland.com.